and this is my clothes series for my family channel on YouTube, Sailing Gypsy Christine, because not everyone likes that lifestyle, so I understand. So, put your arms, oh, actually, let's do this first. This is one of my favorite exercises. Um, hips width apart, a little bit wider. Squat just a little bit. Um, arms on the side, you can um, leave it fisted or just however feels comfortable. And it's good for the obliques. A hundred times. And this is a um, warm up, too. Ready? So, this is try to twist as much as you can. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and the more you can get over, the better it is. Eight, nine, ten, you just squat a little bit doing this, so it's set up good for your butt too. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and you can go faster if you want. Fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. My friend Ivy taught me this and she had a great stomach. So I just like doing this when I'm brushing my teeth, waking up. So you can do this every morning, even for your lunch break. Um, so you last count so I'm like probably at 30 something so I'm gonna stop here but you can do a hundred usually I do a hundred so the next exercise is same stance or squats good for your bottom and your thighs and um, you can squeeze your stomach in and um, try to do it where you're sitting down and not just hopping up and down so I like to go uh, I'll do sideways so I like to go down, like you go, you don't go up and down like this, but you slope down like you're sitting on a seat. And when you become better at this, you can go slower. So I like to do 12 of them. So one, slow and controlled, two, three, four, five, Feel the burn. Six, seven, eight, slow and controlled. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you pump it twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll go back up and repeat the 12. One, two. I learned these exercises um, in Buns of Steel in the 80s. And I'm still doing it to this day. I used to do it in high school all the time. And I started doing it as a morning and nighttime ritual when I was brushing my teeth. Paul, do you know what number we're at? One. <laughs> so I think we're at eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and pump it. Twelve. One, two. I like to do different arm movements when I'm pumping it. Twelve. So that's Two, the other one is you put your legs together closer and not so wide and do the same thing. So I'm going to do it this view. So ready, go. One, like you're sitting on a chair. Two, like you press your butt out. Two, three, four, woo! Balance. Five. You're allowed to talk. 
Tuck. Six. Paul. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And pump it. One. Two. You can squeeze and contract your muscles. Four. And each down movement. And up. One more time. One. Two. When you get better at this, you can even stay lower for longer. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 11. I just love the nature we're surrounded by. One, three, four. Pump it. Feel the burn. And you can even um, add extra steps. Sometimes I do when I'm healthy and tone. You stay down for another 12 after you pump it. You feel the burn? In the thighs, more than one plus. Yeah, they're both. So you, you can do, I do two reps when I just start working out and I build to three and sometimes I count to 15. The next one are leg lifts. You, like Paul, I don't know if the um, screen is showing that. You, oh, okay. Um, Paul's gonna turn it, um, the camera. So leg lifts, you need, um, Something to hold on to. Um, left leg, you raise up 12 times. One, two, slow and control. Three, four, five, six, seven. And contract it as you're going up. Nine, ten, eleven. And then pump it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Out 
20, 25, 50. And you contract your muscles, your obliques, stomach, and that gives you a better workout. These aren't high intensity. You can do it as you're brushing your teeth. That's what I used to do in high school and throughout college. So it's my go-to when I feel like I want to start exercising. And then I work my way up. morning same routine I'm trying to work on my stomach so I'm just start on the ground leg raises or stretching first this is a beautiful spot to do it on the tramp of the boat trampoline because you've got the seagull strike hang on to <coughs> oh, it's just stretch out stretch your body make it as long as you can this just just stretches everything out feels good early in the morning Okay, nice and easy, low impact, we'll just start with some good old cycling. You go at whatever speed you want, point your toes just to help stretch your muscles out. Me We've already done one round of Christine's exercises and so I'm feeling it in my thighs already. And this is our clothes series for my family YouTube channel. Not everyone wants to see the naturous lifestyle. See now, our heart rates are already oh, up. Oh, ouch. I'm going to go into some harder core stuff. Leg rising, raising. Off the ground, open your legs, back in, up, not right up to rest point. You've got to always stay taut in the stomach. So it's down, off the ground, open, back, up, 45 degrees. Oh my gosh, and if you can't do it, that's what I'm advanced. You have to work up to this because I can't even do it. What's the alternative? Alternative? Okay, single leg rows. So oh, okay, yeah. Take your leg out, one leg up, open. Okay. Back. So this. for people who can't do that, so, uh, you, can, you can do your way. Uh, Change legs. trying to do 10 of those obviously you can repeat the number of reps um, if you're up to it you can do, do a routine three times over and I always say it doesn't matter what you do as long as you do something even if you're doing it wrong a little bit of something wrong is a whole lot better than a heap of nothing done correctly oh. um, V6 can do this Can you do them? No. That's advanced again, I guess, as well. I can try, but I don't think so. You can get, so you, you keep your feet off the ground. Oh, in. like this? Okay. In. You've got it. You've got a good, better balance than me. A friend of mine can do these all day long. He's just incredibly strong in the core. Ah, I'm buggered. Okay. All right. Dog, dog stance, I'm just going to work on the buttocks and it does a little bit of your stomach as well. And then we come up, stand out, up. Another butt exercise. 
We want to do a little bit more of oblique muscles. We go to the side, up there. Like a dog peeing. <laughs> Change legs. Only do 10 of each for starters. Is that it, Paul? Yeah, because <laughs> we've already done the last, first lot. Uh, do one more at least. Oh. All right. Standing up, a little bit of balance. Leg raise, so it's almost like a, a martial arts practice where you get into a slightly long stance. You can imagine as if you go in a headlock and head bucking if you like, or head coming through to a midsection strike but either way it works your stomach but we're not going to go wallet and back it's lift hold for a quarter of a second and back down so up oh, balance boats moving around a bit the higher the better the higher the better the longer you can hold the better if you've got balance yeah but the boat's moving too much so just pretend your enemy his head oops Crush it, can I borrow your head, Paul? No. Crush it. Watermelon. Grab a watermelon. Smack. Oh, you should do that. You want to? We'll buy a watermelon. Okay, change legs. Paul, I think, should start his oh, martial oh. arts series to teach oh. beginners. No, I've given that up now. He used to teach martial arts for how long? Uh, long enough. Don't mess with me, suckers! I think I should learn martial arts. Talk to some of the pressure points. I don't remember. I'll show you later. Okay, now the boat's moving around a lot. Yeah, no, it's just oh, there's something splashing over there. Oh, there is Fuck. two. Whale or something. Yeah. You're kidding. They don't have whales here. Yeah, they do. They have a bride whale. But that is something huge. The GoPro won't look see that distance. Go get your camera. Okay. Wow, this is so exciting. I looked over and I saw a huge splash.
getting long hair. Can't even see the buttons release it. Another hobo trick with the tea bag is after you make two teas, I squeeze it out a little bit. Paul likes to um, use smoke for his tea. Then I clean my face. And it's nice when it's nice and hot. But even when it's cool, I clean my face or the countertop or the sink, my neck, my armpits. So it's a nice cooling or heat. Not a lot, because then it breaks. So you have like a few swipes. And the tea smells nice. I don't know if there's any um, good properties in a used tea bag, but another recycle hobo trick. Thank you. This is our anchorage for tonight. Look at the clear water. It's like a swimming pool. Let me in our dive gear. We're a mess. Messy. The sun just went down. Ooh, swimming pool quality. And look at that little outcrop. We'll probably take the tender dinghy or the kayak around tomorrow morning. And that's the open ocean. Pretty. Oh no, the last of my durian fruit. I won't have any more, but I've acquired a taste for it now. I put it in the freezer. Mmm. So creamy.
I'm definitely going to have Paul go buy more. Hmm. My durian pod.
Crazy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Sustainable living out at sea and on land. Um, it's just a beautiful feeling to catch your own food. And if you're a vegetarian, um, you probably don't want to watch us kill animals. And we don't like to, but we'll do it to feed ourselves. It's called sustainable living and hunting. And we only kill what we can eat and freeze. And that's it. We're not like mass murdering the whole ocean and land. And yes, I've gotten a lot of um, criticism for some of my videos because we kill beautiful animals and all creatures are beautiful. So it's what we can eat and what's legal and that's there's plenty of in the ocean and on land. So hobo simple rustic cooking. Love it. It's a beautiful feeling to be able to hunt your own food. You're self-sufficient. So if anything happens in this world, um, we can take care of ourselves. So I just love that feeling. And for all the hypocrites that eat meat and buy meat at the supermarket, unless you're a vegetarian, I can understand the, that you love life. And I love life too, but I eat meat. But for everyone that eats meat and they buy meat, think about where you're getting the meat from. Who kills the meat? Just because you didn't kill the meat doesn't mean that you're any less guilty. If you paid for the meat and you ate the meat and you don't know how it's killed, think about it. Everything that you put in your mouth, animal-wise, someone's killing it. And if you're paying for it and you're eating it, you're as guilty. So that's just my say on the people saying that it's so horrendous to be hunting and shame on us for killing a beautiful animal and eating it when our bellies are full. Um, we try not to buy as much food if we can catch it ourselves. So thank you for watching. Do you hear the crackling? Yummy. Ooh, crispy. Really dangerous working with boiling oil. Being, <laughs> being naked. <laughs> We're naked. Okay, he closed the oil, so I need to go with blue. Okay, while Paul s scores it in tiny pieces, I'll show you what I do. So, take the vermicelli and use my fingers, of course. It's still a little bit warm, but that's okay. Like pasta. That's sort of a lot. But this is much lighter than pasta. Vietnamese, well, all Asian countries eat this. Ooh, hot. Um, I might have to turn off. Okay, I'm going to turn off this. So Paul is putting the crunchy coral trout. You can use um, fillets of fish, but since we're eating the spine, because we hate wasting anything, um, so most people won't be doing this. Just whatever fish. Any vegetables. Uh, bean sprouts are really good. I um, sprout my own bean sprouts, but I haven't um, for the last few days, so we don't have bean sprouts. I also like to put fresh chilies. We don't have any fresh chilies. <laughs> so it's um, sustainable living with what you have on board too. So it's a mix. And it saves a lot of money. And it's not just saving money, it's just how can you fucking get any fresher than this? It's so good. And look at this. Nature's bounty. It's so abundant when you're not green. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Very healthy. Mmm. We eat it with the vegetables on the bottom. And this is a very healthy way of eating. Thanks for watching.
Christine, please subscribe. Click that button. Thank you for watching. channel please click subscribe i'll show you more fun crazy adventure travel videos and thank you for watching it's around 6 35 um i dragged myself out of bed and this is what i look like uh, messy hair and stuff um to exercise i haven't exercised for maybe over a month Ever since my partner in the marina left for home, my exercise partner. And um, this is the state the boat is in. Not so shabby, so let's go walking. I should have filmed the boat when we were up in the hard. Um, very, very messy, everything. Like, you can't even walk out here. Um, but we have it mostly cleaned up because we're almost ready to go outside the marina. We've been here way too long. Maybe the boat six months, me almost four months. Ugh. We have the most junk on our walkway. Um, that's not ours. So. Ocean View Marina in Davao, Philippines. So walking to the stairs, I'm going to try to do five times. I'm really out of shape. Check every day for limes. So here's a lime right now. Love these limes. These are the steps. Um, I can't remember how many steps. Good morning! Um, yes, I'm gonna try to do five times, maybe four. So let's go do it. Let's start. They're building a resort apartment here, which hasn't been finished yet. Oh, my back hurts. I hate not working out for a long time and then starting again. It's so painful mentally and physically. Oh. Here's the view. 
Oh, look, a bird's nest. Oh, it's empty. Yay, I'm at the top. Here's the view. I don't know if GoPro will capture that. So I only did like half of one and I have to stretch and put my water away. Look at who we have, the laggard Paul. So he's gonna try to catch up to me and he likes to run. I don't run anymore, I just walk. I just finished three stairs. I'm gonna go stretch and drink some water. December 11th, 2018, we're in Davao, Philippines after cruising for Indonesia six months and Vimeo was banned in um, Indonesia because I think they considered it porn so I wasn't able to upload anything so I stopped making movies so after we got here I flew to the States for two months so we've been here pretty long and we're almost ready to go um, so I'm going to start doing videos again with travel videos. It's really hard to be FKK in Asia, the Philippines. So I'm just going to do travel stuff until I can get to a remote island. So stay tuned. Gypsy Christine.